Mlango wa 21 Jeremia mstari wa 22 paka 22 21 paka 22 Mimi nalisema nawe wakati wa kufanikiwa kwako lakini ulisema sitaki kusikia Hii ndio iliyokuwa desturi yako tangu ujana wako kutokuitii sauti yangu Upepo utawalisha wachungaji wako wote na wapenzi wako watakwenda kufungwa hakika wakati huo utatahayarika na kufadhaika kwa sababu ya uovu wako wote. Mm-hmm. Jeremiah 22:21 22 I speak unto thee in thy prosperity but thou saidst I will not hear this hath been thy manner from thy youth that thou obeyest not my voice the wind shall eat up all the all thy pastors and thy lovers shall go into captivity surely then shall thou be ashamed and confounded for all thy weakness anasema he says hii ndio imekuwa desturi yako tangu jana wako from your youth kutokuitii sauti yako not to bang my voice kwa hivyo upepo utawalisha wachungaji wako so the wind will eat up all your pastors wako, and your lovers watakwenda kufungwa shall get to captivity hakika wakati huo utatayarika surely that time will be ashamed na kufadhaika kwa sababu ya uovu wako because of your wickedness ndio mbona that's why why kufanikiwa kukuja kwa ndugu anaenda kusiendelee the prosperity not to endure in somebody kufanikiwa kupona kukija kusiendelee the healing not to endure Dio, in pingamizi ziko kuumwa kuko fine pains are there lakini but mtu huyu au ndugu huyu au dada wewe this brother or this sister here kufanikiwa kunapokuja when prosperity comes je una hofu ya Mungu ya kutii you have the fear of god mwingine anapofanikiwa when one prospers ndio amejaa uwashi he is full of rebellion akiwa huku na huku amefanikiwa when he has prospered all around utaona ni mkali nyumbani hataki mazungumzo na he'll be very harsh not talking to anybody mkali 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 very harsh to everybody around maana hataki kuambiwa hapa kuna hili because he doesn't want to be told this this and this to be done here zikisha ndio sasa anataka when the man is finished he'll come for peace bwana asifiwe praise god my wife here ni desturi yake hiyo that is his man of life zikisha ndio desturi yake ana amani na mtu when no money he's seeking for peace with the wife lakini amefanikiwa but when he prospers Nairobi i hate to Nairobi akija anasema na appointment in Mombasa when he comes he says i'm busy in Mombasa ah, malindi I, I, malindi ah. okay nilikuwa nikaona ndugu mmoja miaka ya missionary i used to see one brother during the era of missionary utamuona amekuja marekani you'll see him coming to marekani haya Mombasa okay then to Mombasa ndio huyo Malindi. There he is to Malindi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Na huko nyumbani and at home muke analia. The the wife is crying. Mara kazi zimesimama. At times the works was tough. Naye alikuwa mjenzi mzuri and he was a very good master. Wakati wa kufanikiwa kwake at a time of his prosperity he doesn't prosper to love his wife. Ndio ilikuwa desturi yake. That was his man of life. Hata leo aliacha mama huyo na watoto na watoto wakubwa. He left that wife. Asichana wazuri wazuri with very good guys and boys. Alikuja akamwacha paka kesho. He left that woman even to the future. Akaenda kwa mpango ya kando and went to affairs out of marriage. Kwa desturi hii because of this man here. Mwingine yeye anatafuta Mungu wakati wa tabu. One is seeking for God at a time of problems. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Taona ana amani na watu wote. You listen him with peace. So so Mungu wetu hana upendeleo. Our God is not respect of persons. Ni Mungu wa kuokoa. It's God who saves. Na njia za kutoa maadili mwanadamu zina yeye Jehova. And the issues from death belong to him Jehova. Lakini anasema, but he says, anafanya kazi na wampendao. He works with those who love him. Ukiona afanyi kazi mahali, when you see not, to, not working somewhere, don't despair. Usikate tamaa. Don't despair. Tafuta kujua, seek to know. Hapa hajafanya kazi nani? He's not working with me in this area. Ni kwa sababu sijafanikiwa kupenda I've not prospered to love kutii la Mungu and obeying that of God au ni vita tu pepo ananipiga or maybe these are the battles from the devil siendelee kufuata la Mungu lest i continue following that maana hata ukapenda pepo atakupiga vita hiyo however you love the devil is still fighting you back lakini asimamaye kupenda but to one standing to love and obey dhiki anapenda even in tribulation loving hata katika dhiki anapenda in problem still loving Mungu atafanya kazi God will work with him Je wewe una desturi gani which manner of life Mimi nikaona desturi ndani ya nyumba yangu I had a manner in my house Niki 
Niki, ni, ni, ni when I'm offended, na mtu huyo. talking to such a person, I could not talk. Lakini des, lakini na des, des story, but my manner, si I could not forsake for. Atu me nipaza, basi ni, ni si so you nimbali. offend me, I boycott eating at home. Lakini kusungumusha na mtu, but talking to one who was offended me, I could not talk. Story ya mtu hiyo, that is somebody's state na na mungu. that normally separates him from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I used to be prayed for healing could not man come the story because I, I have a man that doesn't please God. Wangu. From my youth. It, it doesn't mean from the time you are born. Ujana wako ni leo. Your youth is today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I found myself. I'm in the root place here. The men of God ask, Rimbaud, you ought to be well. The works you are doing in miracles. You, you ought to be blessed and be healed. But I had a man that would never please me. One of Britain is every time. Something petty. Okay. When I get to my house, the, dev the devil tells me why has she arranged these items in this side. But when she cooks food, everything down. But talking to such a person, I could not talk. That kind of state was separating from God. So diligent to confess, but I'm failing to know because there's an area I don't please in God. I'm not commandable. I have a manna with me. The story. A manna. The story. A manna. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So look, look for a, which man of life do you have? Maybe your wife is used to you. She's no longer offended by you. But is it a godly way? Maybe your husband is used to you. Seeing you cooking food and not eating. She knows you don't have peace with He doesn't talk to you. He leaves you sleep wherever you sleep, knowing you are not good to them. When he's asking you, when you asked in the... The Why did you sleep in the kitchen? Don't you know? So he knows and you well. Well. and he's used to it. But your man of God won't work with him him. because you don't love God. You will seek for wellness, it won't come. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah!